I take really challenging classes because they intrigue me more and I feel more determined to do the work, even though it can be a lot with sports and everything else I have going on. I'm Brooke Thompson. I go to Franklin High School. I met Brooke last year as a junior. From the moment I met her, super impressed with how focused she was, how proactive she is. I'm interested in studying engineering and environmental science in college, and I obviously have a strong connection with the environment through my tribe. My first impressions of Brooke, I could sense a real spiritual side to her. She actually is becoming a spiritual leader in the Yurok tribe, and that she is learning all about ceremonies and learning the American Indian language, the Yurok language, and she's very deeply involved in that. I've been faced with poverty most of my life, and alcoholism and drugs have always been very present within my family. When I have homework and other schoolwork, it becomes really tedious and hard to get it done because there is problems that come up because of it, or situations where sometimes I don't feel safe. Definitely one thing that's helped me stay focused through all of that was my grandfather, Archie Thompson, who is one of the last native speakers of my language. Since he was in his 90s, he never did alcohol or drugs when I was around, and so that was nice to have that constant just being around him and living with him and learning the language with him has made a really big impact in my life. He passed away this winter, which was also very hard. He's not gonna get a chance to see my accomplishments. And so that really makes me sad because a lot of the stuff I want him to see, but I think he is somewhere. So that makes me kind of happy. Brooke grew up with this great role model of her grandfather who was a scholar and connected to the community, but also looking around and seeing that a lot of people from her community didn't have opportunities and had a hard time being successful. And I think instead of letting that push her down, she wanted to succeed and then pull everybody up with her. When I was little, like in first, second, third grade, I think my parents noticed I had a reading problem or I was slower at reading. And so they had me tested and they found out I had dyslexia. It's awe inspiring because she has learning disabilities. And that is very much a part of why this journey is so impressive for her. That's definitely made it difficult for me, but I've been working so hard outside of school to try to correct those habits. It was just so heartwarming to see her hard work pay off. She is the first student I've ever had in advanced placement who passed the AP exam and has dyslexia. It's not going to impede her in college because she's already working at that level. I'd like to see myself going to Oregon State, Portland State, UC Berkeley, and maybe Stanford for a master's degree. I want to give back to the environment since so many people are taking from it. And I hope to find ways to help my own community in California. There was a recent study done in Portland Public Schools, and it showed that American Indian students had the lowest graduation rate um, of all students. It just gave me shivers to think of what she's doing for students who are coming behind her and paving the way and saying, of course I should be in advanced placement, and I'm gonna take four, actually. And not only am I gonna beat the odds, I'm gonna really stomp the odds into the ground and, and just be a star. I don't believe life is about taking the easy route. Since you only have one life, you should do as much as you can when you can do it.